Hey, you know, Linda and I do all of our videos with just a little DJI Osmo Action camera. I kid you not. And lately I've been looking at the uh, 360 cams, just something to kind of step up our game. We used to use a drone, but it was one of the early DJI Phantoms and it was, you had to put the props on every time you wanted to use it. It was big and bulky. But I've got something cool that I want to show you that I think is going to really add to this channel. This is called a hover cam. And it folds up like that. It weighs 125 grams. And this is really cool. Watch this. It recognizes me. It'll follow me around in this hover mode. It won't follow me, but I mean the camera will turn and point at me. I guess I better look at the camera here. Yeah. And then just by sticking my hand out like this, it'll land in my hand. It's pretty cool. And it does have a follow me mode. In this mode, it will follow. It's already recognizing my face or my body. And it follows. It'll follow me even if I'm riding my bike up to around, oh, 13 to 15 miles an hour. It'll stay behind me or in front of me pointing back and follow. It's pretty cool. And once again, it senses your hand underneath and lands. There's another thing too, it's called zoom out. On each of these settings on here, like I can, like on hover mode, I can make it hover for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, five minutes. On zoom out, I can make it zoom out to 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, just by holding the button down. 20 feet, zoom out. 30 feet, zoom out. And it'll zoom out and zoom back in again. Five feet, zoom out. Five feet there. Watch this. It'll either zoom out straight or zoom out and go up at the same time. So you don't even need to use the app on your phone. Oh, it also goes straight up. Might as well do that. See here. Bird eye, and you can also change that to different, feet, bird eye. different altitudes. 16 feet, bird eye. Okay, it'll go 16 feet to 50 feet. So around 50, 60 feet is the maximum height on this too. So here's 16 feet bird eye. And as it goes up, the camera points down. Pretty cool. The propellers on it are totally protected. So even if it bumps into something, it doesn't have obstacle avoidance, but even if it bumps into something, it's not gonna hurt anything. It's got about 11 minutes of run time, but it comes with a spare battery. So it has two batteries. Also, these batteries charge, if you plug them in, uh, it comes with a charger, and when you plug that in, it charges in about 35 minutes per battery. That's pretty fast. It'll do an orbit, too. You can set the distance on the orbit. Five feet, eight feet, thir 13 feet. 20 feet. 20 feet. We'll just do a 10 feet. 
or eight feet. Orbit. What I'll do is go out to eight feet and then it'll orbit. So in orbit mode, it flies out to distances that you set from 5 feet out to about 30 feet. And then after it flies out, the camera starts recording. And uh, beautiful sound too at the same time. It cuts out its own noise. What a wonderful little camera. So each of the parameters on here are adjustable. But when I saw this thing, I thought it was a toy. Uh, and when they offered it to me, I turned it down the first time. And, uh, but this is not the company's first one. They had a bigger one several years ago. It was larger. And then what they did was they made it smaller and they improved it. Then I looked at the quality of the videos online and I realized that the camera was really sharp and that the stabilization was really good on it. So. I accepted the offer to do the review, and I'm glad I did. This is going to be a, a nice addition to our camera gear. Now, you can fly it with the app. You can, you can fly it out, and you can make it go forwards, backwards, sideways, turn around, and you can point the camera up and down, and you can do that just through the Hover app on your phone. That's pretty cool also. Now, it also has a custom selection on here where you can select your own parameters just to go to custom so you can pre-select that now I'd like to show you the app except it's so bright and sunny out here I'll try okay okay now I can come down here I can switch to manual control and you'll see the this is what the drone is seeing right now so while you're flying it in manual control you can actually see um, what the what the camera is seeing oops I got it tipped up <laughs> So there you can see that. And you can control it here. Let me, let me fly it here. Okay, here it is in manual control now. And um, I can fly it backwards or forwards just by pushing the button here. And you can, probably can't see the camera out there, but now I'm bringing it back into me. And you can rotate it to the right or to the left. And there it is in front of us. <laughs> Let me put the camera back here a little bit. Also, you can push record on it. Now it's recording, so it's going to be recording my voice right now. And just can fly it back. You can point the camera down or up. You can make the drone go up, down. Anyways, you just fly it through your phone. It's pretty cool. So it's recording me now while I, and it'll follow me. And you set the duration of how long you want it to follow you. And it's recording through the phone in my pocket, but it's cutting out its own sound. That's pretty cool. So I don't know how well you can see this. Uh, I don't think my camera here will focus too close, but it's extremely high quality. The camera is extremely high quality. The stabilization is extremely high quality. It's not going to take the place of a professional drone, but you know, for something that you can just stick in your pocket and take hiking with you or go to family outings, uh, this is fantastic. The one thing is it doesn't stand up to high winds, uh, just light, light breeze at the most. Yeah, it's nicely made. It's not a toy. It's a very um, quality piece of equipment. Right now it's on crowdfunding on Indiegogo and I don't normally uh, do uh, crowdfunding things except for they've already had a previous product out and this one is the improved version. So the drone is really cool. It does everything that they say that it does and it does it fine. It comes with extra battery, battery charger, connector cord, and a soft case. And it's $329 right now. 
And I think that after the crowdfunding thing is over with, it's going to be probably $100 or more. So you might want to take advantage of it right now. You know what this is going to come in handy for, for me, and the main thing I look forward to, you know those scenes in our videos that shows like Linda and I walking by the camera and disappearing down the trail? Well, now I can use this and I can make it come to me rather than making me go to it. <laughs> Believe it or not, that was the main thing I was looking forward to. But I'm super pleased with all the features of it. And like I say, you don't need to use your phone to run it because it does all that just from these little buttons right here. Pretty cool. Anyways, I like it. The Hovercam is shipping and customers are receiving their orders.